What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy Johnson Heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to shade, man. If you would like to follow along with this tutorial, I am also selling this brush pack of these already pre-drawn faces for three dollars link is in the bio below let's jump right into it okay on this picture you see under me if you notice the little purple markings i did that's where we're gonna put the dark tones and if you notice like the orange the orange yellowish type color that's when we're gonna put all our light tones so i just laid that out for you guys so you can get a little example of where my mind is at when I'm shading this picture, you know what I'm saying? So, but you're gonna be able to follow along when I'm on um, when I'm doing it. So, let's jump right into it, man. First thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna make a copy of the line work. Let's go to the bottom copy. Let's select this color black. It's on the hair, and we're gonna drag and drop it right here on the face you feel me let me go to like a um we can go to any brush how we we just trying to fill in this area right here we're gonna leave the eyes we ain't gonna too much bother her eyes we just trying to fill in and the reason we doing this so we'll be able to um Select the color. You finna see why I do this little method right here. You probably thinking, what in the world is going on? Okay, bet. That's all we wanted to do real quick. So watch this. Now, all we gotta do is select and click color fill. Let me come up here. And let me find a nice little skin tone to start with. All right. Now you see how easy that made it? If you. All right. Now after you do that, select and color fill. We need to come to this little S tool and we need to cut color fill off. Because now we don't need it. Let's create a new layer right above that color. Let's create selection around that color. Let's go to the color right above it. And let's try to find us a shadow tone. That's a little shadow tone. You feel me? All right. Now that we found us a nice little shadow tone, let's go to our noise brush. And we finna start adding our dark tones. Now look, same way I got it marked on my picture. All I did was create a little guideline where I know where to put these tones at. So I'm gonna come this way. And then I'm gonna come up. Close this off right here. You feel me? And this area is going to be filled in. Just like this. I'm going to fill out of that in. Let's bring this. <clears throat> bring this brush size down. And don't worry about um, going on top of the lips because we're going to add a whole new layer for the lips. So we ain't got to be too neat around the lips. So right now I'm just adding all my little dark tones where I got them on my own picture. That's something to me. 
and I'm using that noise brush because you notice how it give me a little fade into the darker tone. You know what I'm saying? That's my go-to brush when I'm doing this um this type of realistic shading. Okay. dark tone right there a little dark tone right here you know what I'm saying a little dark tone right here gonna come a little lighter with our tone so what I do I create a little light mark like this and I sample the color it creates and after I sample the color it creates I just go through and use it so it keep it keep that same consistency of a brighter tone even if I go too hard Don't sweat the technique. Let me see, bring this over. Okay, bring this up. Make my brush bigger when I want to fade the spread. And then I want it to flow better. I make it, I just make the brush bigger. Okay. Make our brush bigger so we can get this to fade. Fade out like that. On that cheekbone, so we're gonna have to make it fade up here like this. We're gonna have to create a little fade right here, and it might not look like much or nothing now, but you stay building. That's all it is. You just gradually building. You know what I'm saying? Slowly building our tones in. Okay. Okay. Oh, we did see it. Tones on there, man. You feel me? I need to brighten my stream up too. Hold up. That's a little too dark for me. Alright. And to be honest with you, I should have did the dark tone last. But it's all good. I normally start out with my lights to dark. But it's all good. It ain't much. 
to redo it. If I need, let's get all these light tone knocked out. Bring this up like this. Also, bring this shade up. Make this brush a little bigger so we can get the spread to flow over. And this cheekbone over here is going to be dark. Oh, this going to be dark. So, comes out like this. Then it comes in like that. It's gonna make sense. Huh? It's all about building, man. You gotta build your colors up and be confident in what you're building. Make our brush a little bigger so we can make it spread. Also, let it come up to this ear. Make it a little smaller so we can make the detail of the ear stand out. You know what I'm saying? Look at my, look at my little reference. And just like I always say, man, I'm changing the size of my brush to get different effects with the same brush. When I want it sharp, when I want the line noticeable, I make it smaller. And when I want it to be a fade, I make it bigger. So you just got to keep going between the two. Knowing when to use light pressure, not pressing down so hard when you want that light fade. Then you gotta press down firm when you want the color to be a little more. So, pen control. Make sure you got a lot of pen control. Now what I'm finna do I'm gonna go back to my darker tones. Let's sample this dark tone. We're gonna make those dark shadows pop out where they need to be a little more. So, what I'm noticing on her nose, maybe be right here. And we're gonna change the color up a little bit too at the end, but right now we're just placing the tones down. Placing all her tones where they need to be. Okay. Make this fade. And this. a little bigger so I'm going to go in smooth with that other color to transition I'm telling y'all that's all it's about when you shading you know how to make them colors transition
seen. Look at this fade over here. Like this. Brush a little bit, pull this fade down. Just like that, just like me, Z. Okay, make this fade over here a little bit like this. Brush a little bigger. Transition I talk about. Make our breath smaller. So we can get a nice little fade right here. Make it bigger. Get a nice little fade. Make it a little more bigger. And there we go. Uh -huh. So, to the bottom of her neck. Just like that fade. Back part fade. Okay, zoom in over here. Keep that nose. Yeah, once you uh, master your brush size, it's knowing when to make it big and small and things like that. Like, 
that's gonna help you out a lot too. So it's getting a good feel. It's not dark shadows where they need to be. Um, pretty much got this thing to a point where I'm liking it. Let me see, I need to make this fade a little bit so you don't see the flaws. See too much of the flaw, okay, cool. Now that we got our face shaded, Got our face all shaded. Let's go ahead and merge these two colors and change the two colors a tad. Let me skin tone and we're going to create the color white with a little blend of that color you know and we're just going to put some some highlights on her face just to make certain parts pop out a little more just brush a little small put a selection around that layer so I don't color outside of this layer. Cool is good. It's uh, it's 
create a color for her lips. So I'm gonna go about right here. I'm gonna go to my um, inking brush. I'm gonna go to technical pen. We just gonna. Make a fill in for these lips. Okay. Okay, cool. Drag and drop to fill that in. And boom. So let's fill these little, that little area in right there. Let's create a selection around the lips and create a new layer right above it. Let's create a um, shadow shadow color for her lips let's go to materials and let's go back to the noise brush okay, first thing I want to do I want to create a shadow right here under this top lip like that you know what I'm saying create a shadow Create this, this shadow on it about the top lip. And also, start creating one on this bottom. Now let's uh let's create a highlight for that brush. You know what I'm saying? Create a little highlight right here. finish let's uh, merge those two layers together so we can save some layers let's create a new layer and put it behind the um, skin layer and, um, I'm going 
to just fill in these eyes and this her teeth is it something like that All right, let's get a little brighter boom boom also let me um put a background behind her real quick nice little background behind her. you feel me I'm still on this little white layer I made for the eyes. Put a nice little shadow behind my eyes like this. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Look. Create a layer for her earrings. Go to my own technical pen. Let's fill this on in. Like so. Outside the line a little bit. It's all good. You press that back arrow anytime you you mess up. Eraser tool. Alright. Now that we got our earring drawn up, let me create a selection around the earrings. And I'm gonna just stay on this same layer. And I'll do this. And we're just gonna create the little gold effect, you feel me? Now we are finished, man. Yeah, feel me. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon, and we out.